Like me, I'm sure you guys like shiny Pokemon. They're super cool alternate color palettes that can look really different from their original forms. Some shinies are a little bit disappointing while some are really epic, but did you know that there's a handful of shiny Pokemon that have actually changed through different spin-off Pokemon games? Yeah, this video is nuts. Let's do it. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A-Drive. I brought you guys a brand new video today, and today we're gonna be covering 16 shiny Pokemon that have changed throughout the years. This video is really epic. We're actually gonna dive into some of these spin-off Pokemon games like Pokemon Battle Revolution, Gale of Darkness, and Pokemon Stadium 2, where a handful of shiny Pokemon were way different than the shinies that we know and love in the main series of Pokemon games. Now, why there was this disconnect, I really don't know, but for whatever reason, these spin-off companies decided to change the variations of these shiny Pokemon and make them look totally different and in many cases like Scyther look so much better and it makes you really wonder why hasn't Game Freak and Pokemon changed some of their shinies throughout the years to kind of fit better color palettes you got some really great shinies like Gigalith for example I think people like that one and and something like uh, Fracture is another cool one that's blue and then you have other shinies that are like Garchomp and you're just kind of like uh why is this even a shiny? It's, it's not really that cool. Whereas Gibble looks really neat. But without going off on a tangent, like I said, we're gonna cover 16 different Pokemon that have changed throughout the years. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. So hit that like button down below if you guys do enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe and let me know in the comment section below which one of these shiny Pokemon you like the most. I can already tell you mine is Scyther and I haven't even gone through the list yet, but it's it'll be fun. So let's jump into it. Let's have some fun. Let's take a look at some of these shinies that have changed throughout the years. All right, to kick off this video, we're gonna take a look at Beedrill. Now this Beedrill looks nuts. So I really like the current shiny Beedrill, which has the blue eyes and kind of the bright highlighter yellow coloring, which I think looks really cool. But this Beedrill from the spinoff game actually happens to have kind of a, uh, a greenish aquamarine type tint, which is really cool. I believe this is from Stadium 2. So a uh, pretty interesting design and you can see how Beedrill was way different in this spinoff game. But I do think that the current shiny Beedrill is better. That's actually not the case for most of these. I think that the spinoff shinies are better. But in this case, I'm going to stick with Beedrill. But you guys can vote in the comments for each one of these. The next one we've got is Drapion. Drapion is a shiny that I recently actually hunted. I have a shiny score up that I just got and shiny Scorpio looks amazing in sword and shield but it's shiny when it evolves is a little bit lackluster because it almost feels like some of those colors kind of get dull uh the shiny in um I believe it is battle revolution is a little bit more vibrant red right so they kind of enhance some of those red colors and some of the blues and some of the other ones in this video are way more drastically different but this one is pretty interesting in the sense that they do change its color quite a bit uh in terms of just like really deepening those reds and i think it just makes the pokemon stand out more looks really cool and uh definitely a better look for drapion which again i think if it looked a little bit more like scorpy would be such a top tier shiny for sure the next one is Firo, and this one's pretty interesting because in the case of Firo, its current shiny is like almost yellow slash brownish, but the shiny from, I believe, Stadium 2 was actually like kind of a bluish gray, kind of slate gray type of color, which I think looks super good, right? Firo is not a Pokemon that I think a lot of people care a whole lot about, no offense, but this shiny looks really, really good as kind of this blue slate gray type of color, and I would have loved to see that kind of be what a shiny is as opposed to kind of the current, just like very bland, normal brownish goldish yellowish color that is just like i said pretty disappointing overall so hopefully you know we'll see some changes with this one because i do think fear could be a lot better with the uh, kind of alternative color palette. This is one that's pretty different too. When we look at Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan's a shiny I do quite like. I love those blue boxing gloves. It makes it really stand out from its regular sprite. And that alone, I think makes this one one of the better kind of main series shinies. But I believe it is in Stadium 2. It still had those blue boxing gloves, but its skin color was totally different, right? It's got almost like a bluish purple skin color, which is very different. And its kind of clothing is almost reversed with its body right so the two shinies are almost flopped in terms of the clothing and the body versus the body and the clothing so it's almost like they flop those around that's probably intentional but you never know because who knows but I, I think the blue boxing gloves are the defining trait for hitmonchan either way so not a big deal but definitely an interesting shiny nevertheless this is one that stands out too is latios you would think the legendaries would conform a little bit more and we'll actually touch on another legendary here later in this video but latios is more of like kind of a tealish green color but in uh this is from battle revolution in pokemon battle revolution it was actually like a 
very vibrant blue so going from a tail teal to a blue is quite different and you can even see the eyes are a slightly different color and that triangle I think is pretty close to the same on its on its chest but uh, Latios is definitely a really cool shot I've always loved Latios the yellow shiny Latios Latios is still pretty cool with that teal green but I would have loved to see this blue I think that this color blue is really nice either one I think that they're both very similar I mean they're just a different shade but definitely still pretty cool that we could see these variations between the two games here's one that's very very different this is Meganium and Meganium is from Stadium 2 as well if I'm not mistaken uh, Meganium is normally like a really greenish yellow color and then of course has the orange flower pattern around its neck however this Meganium has a purple flower around its neck which is very very different and even the little stems on its head are uh are, or antlers whatever you want to call them are like red which kind of match the internal part of its flower here and then of course its body itself is more of a bronzy type of color which almost looks like more like what bay leaf kind of is so i feel like there's a little bit more inspiration there i for one love the stadium two design of meganium here i think that those purple leaves just look awesome and i would have loved to see the entire line kind of edited to have that kind of purple leaf shiny as opposed to the gold leaf shiny which as much as i like chikorita it's a little bland when you look at kind of the main model it's not quite as vibrant or different as this shiny is so this is one that really stands out to me as, as something that i i would like to see you know kind of changed or i much prefer kind of the spin-off model of the shiny that was used in stadium 2. here's one again we talked about legendaries and it's like how can these legendaries be so different mewtwo one of the most iconic legendary pokemon of all time known for its kind of green tail and its green shiny but in, uh, in in Pokemon Stadium 2, it actually had a totally different shiny. It was almost like a dark purple or kind of almost a black or kind of a midnight type color for its tail as opposed to the green color. So this one is so different, right? Now, obviously, it's the same part of its body that's changed for its shiny variant, but still a pretty big difference overall. And you'd be surprised. Like, I really would think that, especially for legendary Pokemon, that there would be some sort of conformity within Pokemon. But this just goes to show that, you know, in the past, there's been some serious variations between a handful of shiny pokemon across the different uh, games and if mewtwo can have a different shiny then really anything could right here's one that again another very different one murkrow known for being incredibly purple which follows its evolution line as honchkrow is very purple as well but this murkrow here which was from stadium 2 has a teal beak as opposed to kind of a yellow beak and yellow feet and then it has like a very purpley darkish color like a much darker color to it and then its eyes also match that beak i would say i prefer the current Murkrow right now I think it's a little bit more kind of realistic because it's beak with being teal is kind of weird so this is one where I actually prefer the current model as opposed to the stadium model but definitely pretty crazy to see it totally different with the with the teal beak as opposed to seeing it with the uh you know with kind of the the regular beak and then the purple coloring Murkrow is a cool Pokemon nevertheless but uh, I definitely prefer the current shiny now I love the Porygon line and Porygon 2 had a very different shiny actually here as we can see it normally has like kind of a purple lavender type color with nice blue over it this Porygon 2 actually had a brighter blue on it and then a yellow color for the rest of its body so a much different shiny I think that, that tweak is really nice but honestly Porygon 2 and the Porygon line are some of the best shinies in my opinion they're really really good they're super classy they they don't have too much going on they're they're simple but they look really clean and it's hard to take those like take that away so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the current model on this one but definitely pretty neat to see that Porygon had a different shiny model as well now I told you guys that there was a one that really stood out to me and that's Scyther dude and this is one that pains me a little bit inside to see because I love the fact that if this was the shiny that we had today you know regular Scyther turns into scissor which is red but scissor shiny is green and then regular uh, like you know what I'm saying shiny Scyther is red which turns into shiny scissor which is green you know what I'm saying like it would have been flopped which would have been really cool to have this red shiny Scyther dude I love this one and actually like pains me that this is not the real shiny because if this is what shiny Scyther looked like I feel like it would instantly shoot to the top of my list as one of my absolute favorite shiny Pokemon of all time this red looks so good on Scyther and it just it, it kills me because Scyther overall has like a pretty bad shiny right it's like a deeper green with like some pink on its joints but like this red looks amazing and this is one of the things that really inspired this video is like I I really want this Scyther so can we have like a petition like I don't know 10,000 likes and Game Freak changes it they're not actually gonna change it but we can hope right maybe maybe we rejoice a drive army let's do it but this one's top tier I mean you cannot beat the red shiny Scyther I want this I almost want to go back to Stadium 2 just to try to get this shiny 
just so I can have it in Stadium because you can't transfer it because it's not gonna it's gonna change, right? So I it's on my list of things to do if I do this for another 10 years for sure. Here's Star You and Star You is another one where it's really hard to beat Star You's original Shawnee. It's so clean, man. Star You Star Me a really good Shawnee line, but this one's interesting, right? You kind of go from having uh, almost like a silvery body to having a blue body and then its emblem in the middle is totally different, right? It's like a dark purple with some green. So a completely different color palette here, right? I would say that this is one where I like the current Shawnee more. Uh, this Star You is cool, but I really like regular Star You. So I'm, I'm gonna keep my regular Star You and I'm gonna pass on this, this kind of adjusted design here. Suicune looks amazing though. The current Shawnee Suicune just has kind of like deeper blues and like a different kind of blue skin tone. But this Shawnee Suicune, which is from uh, Gale of Darkness, has a black mane and kind of a different color headpiece. And that looks incredible. Like why is that not the Shawnee? That's so much better. The black mane looks a million times better. And again, just super confused and surprised to see that there's these differences with these with these shinies, especially when it comes to legendaries. To me, that's just so crazy, but this one looks really good, and I wish we had this shiny Suicune for sure. Tentacruel has a little bit of a difference as well as a shiny form. We can see that its tentacles have changed a little bit, and its uh, orbs are a little bit different. They're orange instead of green. The body itself is pretty similar, but overall, just a small change for Tentacruel. It does look pretty cool, but I like the current shiny Tentacruel. I think that the current one is really good. I've always loved Tentacruel and Tentacruel's design. I thought that they were just like top tier shinies. Trap Inch has some small changes to it. It's a little bit darker color instead of being a more greenish kind of color. This uh, Shiny Trap Inch is like almost like a black or gray. So there are some small differences here for Shiny Trap Inch. Not a drastic difference, but definitely pretty cool to see that Trap Inch is a slight difference as well. And of course, Voltorb here, a drastic difference. We're talking about a Pokemon. This is actually from Battle Rev, uh, I'm sorry, Gale of Darkness. Instead of having the blue on the top, it's actually got the blue on the bottom and then it's black on the top, which is super duper different uh, and actually really cool. I would say that I like the current Voltorb still because I just like the contrast of the blue and the white as opposed to the black and the blue. But nevertheless, really cool to see the Voltorb. I, I still like the current one, but uh, Voltorb's a great shiny too. I love those blue shinies. Like, really really clean and then here's another one that i i i mean how do you beat shani yanma in my opinion shani yanma has got to be top 10 shinies of all time it's so good it really pains me that yanmega is not as good because that blue changes and i just, uh, just bugs me so much pun intended but this uh shani yanma is really cool from stadium 2 it's got like purple eyes instead of green but i do like how the green pops on the blue i think that again it's and it's a different color blue but i think i'm gonna stick to the current shani yanma if i had to pick but I do like the purple eyes. I think that's pretty neat for Yanma as well. So definitely some cool options here, right? We've got some different variations. And uh, and look, looks like I'm out. That was 16. So as you can see, a handful of shiny Pokemon have changed throughout the years and actually been different through spin-off Pokemon games. There's actually even more Pokemon that have changed Shinies throughout the years that are from the main series games, and perhaps we'll do a follow-up video on this one if you guys are interested in seeing that. Let me know what your favorite Shiny swap palette was here from this video, and again, these are legitimate Shinies from spin-off Pokemon games. So at some point, these were approved and said, hey, yeah, you can use a red Scyther. That's cool with us. It's totally, totally different than the one we have in our games, but like, hey, no problemo. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like the video down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Get those notifications turned on. I post two Pokemon videos every single day that have been awesome. And of course, let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. That's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. If you guys thought this shiny video was awesome, you should check out this one right here. However, if you don't like this one, that's, that's cool. I got another one for you right here. So we got two options, and it's going to be a great day. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.